Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Andrew Laidley. Small and medium-sized enterprises are being told that they will be able to register and protect their intellectual property anywhere in the world by the end of this year. The announcement comes from Deputy Director of the Jamaica Intellectual Property Office, Dr. Marcus Goff. He was speaking on the latest edition of PSOJ's COVID Cost JA webinar. According to the latest data from the World Intellectual Property Organization, innovators around the world filed 3.3 million patent applications in 2018, up 5.2%. That was the ninth straight yearly increase. The Jamaica Intellectual Property Office now moving to protect small businesses that are looking to do business internationally. Jamaican brands and you know goods and services and the Jamaican name is so well recognized overseas, you know what I mean? Yes. Um, and so it's, it's really incumbent on us, if you're doing trading, to do and protect your, your, your rights in those foreign countries. He says Jamaica is closer to ratifying the Madrid Protocol, which will give SMEs greater protection in international markets. That protocol will allow for trademarks to be registered in multiple countries around the world through one process and application filed in Jamaica at Jaipur, you know, and that will be in place before the end of this year, we're hoping. Um, we're in the final stages of having that law, the Trademarks Act amended, and that will soon be um, commonplace for us here. And that's not the only protection strategy Jaipur plans to introduce. We're signing on to the Hague Agreement very soon. That will also enable a person to register their design rights in foreign countries through one process. Um, here in Jamaica through JIPO. Uh, and for patents, the same thing, the Patent Corporation Treaty will allow you to do so similarly through one process through JIPO in the very near future. President and CEO of the Jamaica Public Service Company, Michel Gantois, says his company will help to train and create jobs in the electronic vehicle industry. He was speaking at the launch of JPS's first public electric vehicle charging station in St. Anne. Very importantly, it's about jobs. It's about building new skill sets and high-level technical skill sets. It's about providing new job opportunities for people to work in a new, emerging, and exciting industry. We want to create in internship uh, opportunities for students, training opportunities for technicians and mechanics to service the vehicles, and for first responders when needed. Gantois says JPS will open 10 new electric vehicle charging stations by July. At the same time, he says there are investment opportunities for the private sector within the emerging industry. It's also about creating innovative uh, financing mechanism for persons who want to pursue new ventures, new business ventures in the electric vehicle industry. To currency trading now, it ended today with the U.S. dollar selling for $151.94. The Canadian dollar is going for $126.15. The pound closed at $214.18, while the euro is being sold for $187.47. On the stock market, the JC index gained 1,725 points today and the junior market index advanced by 53 points. Among the winners were Portland, JSX, 138 Student Living, Consolidated Bakeries, Caribbean Cream and Express Catering. Now on the losing side were Salada Foods, Elite Diagnostic, Epley 8.75%, Medical Disposables and Supplies and Everything Fresh. And that's the Business Day. I'm Andrew Laidley. Good evening.